We're pleased now to welcome in two members of the National Park Service. We have Joe Watkins as well as Jennifer Talkin Spaulding. Thank you both for stopping by. Good morning. Thank you for inviting us. Well, let's talk a little bit about the Park Service, some of the work that's being done, and how you can bring some anthropologists into your work. Well, on a national level, the, the cultural anthropology program of the National Park Service uses applied anthropologists to to provide background for, for parks, for regions. What we try to do is bring in information about communities that are impacted by the parks, as well as communities who may have a traditional association with the park, so that the, the superintendents and the managers can really have some information to help them make good informed decisions. You know, part of the, my portfolio are within the Tribal Relations and American Cultures Program is looking at some of the programs that the National Park Service has that directly impacts the tribes here in the United States. One is the Tribal Historic Preservation Program, which deals with and manages the, the work of tribal historic preservation officers in helping protect their heritage. The other is Parks NAGPRA, which looks at the, the way that the Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act is dealt with within the national parks. Mm -hmm. And the important thing here is that we use anthropologists of all different backgrounds. We use archeologists, we use cultural anthropologists because we have to answer a lot of different questions. Tell me about some of the current projects that you're working on. I can give you a couple of examples from right here in the Washington DC area. Um, our program in the national capital region is relatively new in the National Park Service. There's been a cultural anthropology and an ethnography program for many decades in the National Park Service, but our program in the National Capital Region is going on about three years old. Mm -hmm. So we have multiple projects underway right now, and uh, those include a couple of oral history projects. We have a baseline documentation survey, which in the National Park Service is called an ethnographic overview and assessment, which tries to understand what Joe has just mentioned, the relationships between associated communities to national park resources. So we have a project uh, like that going on at Antietam National Battlefield right now and Harpers Ferry National Historical Park in West Virginia. And we are just launching, just a few weeks ago, we launched a subsistence fishing study for 44 miles of the Potomac River and the Anacostia River and the lower portion of Rock Creek and if there are people in town right now, you are enjoying uh, the riverfront while you're in town. And that is going to be a very interesting study to help us understand the extent of subsistence fishing in this urban area mm -hmm. and the extent of sharing and uh, the, the degree to which it really helps to uh, feed a community in Washington, D.C. So we're very excited about all of those projects. Now you also have a webinar coming up in the spring to help kind of answer those questions of how do I work for the Park Service? How do I get involved? Right. right. And, and Joe and I and some of the archaeologists, our colleagues right. in the archaeology program for the National Park Service, along with the national coordinators for the Cooperative Ecosystem Study Units, which is the, the partnership that we use in the National Park Service to work with academics and it's the way that we can obligate our federal funds right. for these this type of applied anthropology to academics to work with us in partnership as consultants and complete this work. So all of those projects that I, I mentioned, nearly all of them are uh, obligated through the CESU network. So that's coming up uh, mid-March, so I encourage everybody to to tune in to the webinar. Mark their calendars. And we have a couple websites here too that people can go to for more information as well as how they can get involved and, and get more information. Absolutely. Thank you both so much, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much.